Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my thoughts on this book, Dreamcatcher by Stephen King. I buddy read this book this month with Dane from Dane Reads and I really had a good time doing that. We were emailing each other back and forth our thoughts as we were going through the book and we agreed on quite a few things so that's exciting. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to do a review of this book also so I will leave his channel linked down below. But let me just go ahead and get into what I think of the book. And I'm just going to say right up front that I gave this book five stars. I was really blown away by this book, especially the characters. I haven't felt this connected to characters in a story for a very long time. And I'm a huge fan of character driven books. And so that's the number one reason why this book was such a home run for me. I also really love the plot. It involves aliens and I loved the setting or the atmosphere of this book. It is set in the woods in Maine and it is actually set in the month of November. And one of my favorite things to do is read a book that is set during the exact time that it is for me. And something really cool happened because I was reading and they mentioned the date and the date was November 14th and it happened to be November 14th for me in real life and I just really love that. So that may be cheesy but that's just something I do love in a story. So anyway let me just give you a summary of what this book is. It basically starts out with these four friends who are friends from childhood. It's kind of a coming of age story and it's very typical of uh, other books from Stephen King. Uh, but it's four friends, which I would even say they were more like brothers than friends. They were incredibly close. They grew up together and every year they go hunting at a cabin in the woods. And this year something crazy happens. Uh, one of them is alone in a tree stand and he sees a man stumbling around in the woods who is lost and disoriented and he takes the man back to the cabin to uh, get him help and take care of him. And while the man is in the cabin, uh, how do I say this without giving away spoilers? But uh, that's when things really get serious and aliens are involved. And it literally is one of the craziest scenes I have ever read in my life. And Stephen King has some crazy scenes. But in this book, this particular scene that I'm talking about was just so over the top and it was amazing. Throughout the story, you learn more about the boys or the men's fifth friend that they grew up with, who was not on the hunting trip with them, but he plays a huge role in their lives. And his name is Duditz and Duditz has Down syndrome. And pretty much any scene that had Duditz in it, I was crying. He was such a beautiful human being him and his mother both and I just loved reading about Duddits, anything about him and the way the boys treated Duddits, how they took care of him, how they were a friend to him. It was just so heartfelt and so tender and so beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I was just really drawn to these characters. All four of the friends grew up to have major things wrong with them, but when you find out how caring they are deep down inside it just makes you feel even more for them with the trauma and the uh, bad things that they are going through moving on you find out that there is an actual alien invasion going on and i'm not going to give spoilers away for that but it was so different than any other alien invasion story i've ever read or movie i've ever seen and i really liked how it was done it wasn't like aliens come here and just start blowing stuff up and taking over. I like that it was harder for the aliens than you might expect. This story has a lot of action in it, which really keeps the story going. Even though this book is over 600 pages, you might think it drags, but I didn't feel like it dragged at all. I felt like uh, Tommy Knockers, which is another alien story from King, parts of it were draggy. Uh, I think I prefer Dreamcatcher to Tommyknockers because there was just always something going on and uh, it was a big adrenaline rush. Plus, I loved the characters more than I loved the characters in the Tommyknockers. I just really can't get over how attached I am to these characters. And I loved the ending. It was such a great 
ending. And I feel like Stephen King sometimes has a hard time with endings or I'm not really satisfied with the way his books end, but this one was absolute perfection for me. I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. So yeah, basically those are my thoughts on the book Dreamcatcher. I would highly recommend this story if you like um, books that are big on friendship, characters, uh, coming of age stories, aliens, all of those things. It was just fantastic. And I put this right up there with Needful Things for my favorite Stephen King books. So yeah, this book is a really big deal to me. I really loved it and I hope you all read it. Or if you've read it, let me know what you thought of it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I've got. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all later. Bye.